I'm gonna let my people know as well. Okay, hello, hello everyone. We are going to be doing some speed running with... Uh, oh, how do you pronounce your name, actually? I've always said Bayer Fox, but I'm not sure if that's uh, how you like it pronounced or... Uh, the Bayer's fine. Uh, it's just BYA. Uh, like a little... kind of Like back uh, in the early TFC days, me and my cousin started a clan like uh, Barnyard Animals and I was Fox. Ah, right. Fair enough. BYA, so I'll, can... I'll stick with uh, BYA then. That makes more sense than Bayer. Yeah, you can just call me Fox. Just... Yeah, cool. Yep, we'll go with Fox then. All right, so Fox, uh, tell us what you're going to be doing and uh, trying to get me through this speed run. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, first we're going to be doing an old route of mine. Uh, whenever I started doing the... Uh, Follow New Vegas speedruns. This was the route that got me under an hour and a half. Uh, it's a lot safer than the current one that... Girl fused my sister. Hey, hey sis. Uh, it's a lot faster. Uh, the new one is a lot faster than the old one. Uh, but the old one is a lot safer. Uh, we'll be having combat armor and a power fist uh, by the end of the, of the old route. Nice. Um, and we'll have a ton of stim packs as well so there's not really a whole lot of issues that we're gonna be coming across okay sounds good uh so for anyone watching the big screen is fox and the small screen in the bottom right is me so the the big screen will be the one being <laughs> being successful <laughs> all right uh you, you ready to get started yep i'm ready let's go intro or no uh we could skip it Alright. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy. What kind of uh, attri attributes are we going to be going for then? I'll, uh, I'll stop at the attribute screen so that you can see it. Cool. Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage uh, is. Basically, charisma is a dump stat. Yeah. So just put everything into endurance and intelligence. Nice. Hey, Admiral. Welcome to the stream. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm good, thanks, Admiral. We're doing some uh, speed running with uh, BYA Fox today. I don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework. Oh yeah, make it uh, when you make your character, make it female. All right, okay. That is integral to this. Right. I guess it's for certain speech options later on. Nope. No. Interesting. Well, it's for. Uh, right anyway. Well, now, most of the enemies that we're going to be fighting are guys. Uh right. Yes, for the perk. That makes yeah, sense. black. Yeah, Black Widow is going to be the first perk that we get, and it's the most overpowered perk in the game. Good. Nice. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there? Take it. Okay, so while you're in here, there's glasses on the left side. You can run and get those. Ah, okay, for uh, the perception, yeah. Yeah, there's yep. no stealing penalty or anything like that. And at the bottom metal box, there's also a uh, laser pistol and some ammo. Ah, uh, nice. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculty. All right, so we won't really be using agility much and charisma as a dump stat. So take one point off of agility and everything off of charisma. Okay. And 
put all the other points into endurance and intelligence. Cool thing. Nice. Yep. All right. Look at that. So now we can go and steal more stuff. So there's a hat. Well, all right. And uh, oh no, you yeah, we need to repair skill and we need to repair the gun. Oh yeah, we can repair the gun. Yeah, you'll be able to do that. Some drugs. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions, see if your dogs are still barking. Do we just skip through all this stuff? Yeah, just all pick right. the top option for all the normal stuff. Sure. Okay, so the checks that we want, uh, the for the, the uh, tags. Yep. Uh, do you do you prefer using a miss like a grenade launcher or unarmed? Uh, let's go with unarmed. All right. That's lucky to kill so myself with that one. <laughs> you want to go medicine, uh, speech, and unarmed. Okay. Cool. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Hey, and good natured as well as skill, because these are both going to give us five points towards. Um, well, skill will give us five to everything, but good mm -hmm. nature will give us five to both medicine and uh, speech. Nice. Okay. That about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. Okay, so he's leaving. Yep. Go back and get all the items that I couldn't get before. Pair this a machine gun. Get a bunch of stim pack. Yep. He's got cigarettes in his room. Got a carton of them. Oh yeah, four caps. Yeah. Here, these are your okay. Uh, could just go ahead and talk to him like normal, but yeah, whenever he's know. done, talk to him again and sure. do not go hardcore, right? I expect you'll be wanting to go outside no. after being cooped up for so long, but if you have any questions, I'll answer what I can. And maybe the medicine check, yep, yep. And then there's another speech check under that. Oh, uh, yep, of course. So you're basically going to start with all the stim packs that you're going to need for the run. Oh, great. 23 and we haven't even left the building yet. Nice. Okay, yeah, let me assign let me assign these to There we go. So, I'm guessing we're using the boxing gloves to start with? Nope. Nope. Just uh, fully unarmed, is it? Or we got to find something soon, I guess. Well, we start with a grenade launcher, but... Ah, uh, right, yeah, we can just use that. Yeah. We're not really going to need it a whole, whole lot, though. Nope. Uh, so go in here. Uh, you can sell everything, including ammo, uh, besides the grenade launcher and its ammo. Okay. And a single piece of armor. I suggest the leather armor. Sure. Just because it weighs less and it'll just keep you covered. Yep. Oh yeah, and equip the hat to make up for the uh, what the one perception. Oh yeah. You must be the one document. And then you can buy an additional number of uh, stim packs from him, or you can check to see like if he's got any. Uh, Grenade ammo. He won't since we didn't pick explosive, but sure. You can get just get like a bunch of stim packs. Yep. Oh, I've completely forgot how the buy menu works. I was buying everything off him by accident. Yeah, this is stressful. Still... Yeah. Actually, having to go fast. So we're just keeping the grenade what rifle. Yeah. Yeah, and yep. if you need any more money, you can just sell the ammo. But we're gonna be going across. Two more merchants later on. Cool. Are we buying anything off him? No. No. Okay. None. No. Besides the uh, the stim packs, that's it. All right. 
All right. So my old route does actually have us going in this building just to do the initial mission. Uh, sure. But this is this is to get us a stealth boy for later. Okay. The stealth boy that we need for later was because I was terrified of making an enemy of the NCR and then going through the last mission. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're just doing the starting quest as normal, I guess, then. Uh, just the first part of it. Well, that's a start. And tutorial. Darn enough. Um, well, you've been causing. Then just talk to her a bunch until you get the option to fix her radio. Okay. I need to look at your broken radio. It just click like every option. Yeah. I guess we have enough repair skill to do it. Yep. Cool. Feeling thirsty? All right. Now Ringo is going to be going outside. What the hell is your problem? Come outside. Wait for one hour. Patcher, welcome to the stream. I found your channel for the Elder Scrolls Retrospectives. Awesome work. I'm wondering if you will do Oblivion. Uh, yeah, possibly one day. I'm focusing on uh, the Elder Scrolls and the Fallout series for a bit. Um, so after I've done Battlespire and some of the mobile games for the Elder Scrolls, the older ones, then yeah, I'll probably do Oblivion one day. Thanks for uh, checking in. I'm just going to wait here until you uh, get here. Yeah, so I've done the Judy thing. Prepared the radio. What are we doing now? Sorry. So, oh, we have to uh, go, go out... speak to Yeah, Ringo. go outside. Uh, wait for an hour, and then he'll be behind the building. You could just follow him. All right. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're just going to kill him, yeah? Yep. Cool. So, get behind him where he can't see you, so you're hidden, you get a crit. Mm-hmm. All right. Pull out your, uh... What the... If he lives, oh. just hit him again. Yeah. Actually, I see why I killed him. I, I hope I did. And he comes with a stealth boy, which is nice. So we're done with Good Springs. <laughs> okay. That was nice and fast. Uh, All right. So uh, we're going to be heading to the cross that you can see in the distance. Yep. Uh, we're going to be going down the, the Death Claw route, is it? Using the Stealth Boy? Nope. No? Okay. We are going to take advantage of something that Bethesda games do for some weird reason, which is... Oh, is, it the, you act to... <laughs> is it the glitch to use the... Get like immense speed. No. No. Ah. Uh, oh, this will on. be a com this will be a completely glitches uh run. Oh right, nice. But uh no, so uh the way that their checkpoints work, like the waypoints, uh whenever you get close enough, uh it activates it and like you can fast travel to that point, but like the actual point that you're fast traveling to isn't the part like isn't the point where you had to walk to to get to it like it's usually a fair like a fair distance away oh uh, okay like yeah like like we activate the waypoint for uh this place back here mm -hmm. but the actual place it would tell us to is about here 
Right, yep. And there's a huge one uh, coming up. So once we get past here, uh, you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Like yep. I'm looking at, I'm looking at like an indent of the caverns to the left of the correctional facility. Ah, uh, yes, yep. Just make a straight line there. Okay. So basically towards like Hidden Valley, right? Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, and for the guys watching, if you have any questions uh, for Fox, just drop them out down in the chat and you'll be uh, willing to answer them. If you have any questions regarding like speedrunning or anything. Absolutely. Uh, the grenade launcher that uh, we're bringing with us isn't so much to kill stuff. It's more that it will cripple the enemy. Right, and, and then they can't chase us. Yeah, yep. and, and the only person that's kind of like resistant to it is Driver Nafai. Mm -hmm. Uh in which case, if he does, he, he'll he actually stop, like, he only uses melee weapons anyways. Uh, so as long as we take out his legs, he won't be able to chase us. And once we get into the Great Khan's uh, camp, he won't follow us any further. Cool. The part where we have to deal with him uh, to the right will be raiders, to the left will be geckos, and then it's actually better to have the raiders chasing you than the geckos. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> So, uh, one important thing about um, Hidden Valley where we're coming up, uh, mm. never never come here at night. Uh, there are Brotherhood patrols. Uh, all right, yes. And until you're allied with them, they will shoot you on sight. Cool. Good to know. So, on my screen, the um, I'm going to go to the uh, bunker on the right first. Okay. Uh, this this is where uh, we're going to want to go uh, once we start the Brotherhood quest, because we if like the, uh, the best way to explain what I'm going to be doing is the first day that you get here, if you make a beeline straight for the Brotherhood and start their quest, you can actually get inside and smash the radio while he's out on patrol. Oh, okay. So you can actually uh, get access to the Brotherhood's uh, stores. Uh, all the things that they sell right at the start with no risk from the NCR guy chasing you down. Oh, wow. All right. You might come across one or two rad scorpions. Yeah, I've got a few following <laughs> me. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm not going to go into the Brotherhood's bunker yet. Uh, so, like, once you get there, go to the top of the hill and then look straight to the east. Okay. So, like, I'll pause on my screen until you see it. Sure. Trying to find the hill. Yep, got here. East. Yep, up Rad Scorpion Gulch, right? Yeah, we're yep. gonna. Yeah, we're gonna stick to the left of that. Right. Okay. And if you feel the need to get more money, then you can take their... Uh, oh, yeah, take their tails. If they yeah, if they mm. drop anything, that's it's worth a decent amount. Cool. So what we're going to be doing here, um, one of the Lost Patrols is actually in a crater right up here. Uh, we're going to jump down into the pit, grab their armor, their weapons, and their helmets. If you're encumbered by it, just uh, use repair and put them together. Sure. Uh, and then get out of the crater and run straight back west into the uh, Brotherhood's uh, bunker. Okay. Are we killing uh, Mo or are we just leaving him? I just shoot him once just to make sure he's not going to chase me. Uh, sure. Uh, once you uh, just pick up everything that they have, once you do, uh, go to data and then miscellaneous and... Just hover over the mission statement, the CB-03. 
Yep. And it'll give you the password to get in. Oh, cool. Well, I, I never knew you could get the passwords like that. Obviously, I knew the Brotherhood uh, Patrol was here, but I didn't know about the password. That's cool. Once you do that, uh, just run back to the west mm -hmm. and into the Brotherhood Bunker. Cool. Oh man, I probably should have popped some Rad X before I went in there. Oh well. It's only mild radiation poisoning, I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah, you're not gonna get any work. Like, this is basically the last time that we'll have any radiation damage. Cool. It's pretty much just directly to the west, you, you'll see the bunker. Yep. Then just put the password into the intercom once you go inside. All right. Listen very closely. Whoa. Just wait for him to come out. Sure. Where did you learn that password? When you uh, come up to this guy, it's the second option. All right. If I level up, uh, what should I go into? Speech. Speech. All right. And black option. And then Black Widow for our first perk. You'll find your yep. Picture. Yep. All right. I'm going to. Pause my screen until you get until you get here. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to a map tomorrow now. <laughs> my game crashed. <laughs> That's classic. We were just New Vegas. talking about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right. Well, I should have an auto save probably from entering the bunker. I imagine. That's classic. Anybody have any questions? Uh, yeah, luckily I was just as I was entering the bunker. Not too bad. Right, speech. Okay, so what's the next step? Are we going to do the whole Brotherhood quest, or...? No, just no. this part. Okay. Because all we, if, uh, if we're fast enough, the only thing that we'll have to do is select a radio and then click on Smash and then Return. Nice. And that'll give us full like access to all their store armaments. Where do we get the trait, uh, the power armor? Oh, no, we're getting combat armor, aren't we? Of course. Yeah. So we don't even need yeah. training. Yeah, the power armor is something that we're not going to be dealing with. Sure. All right, fingers crossed I don't crash this time. <laughs> Yay, all right. Uh, which one do I pick for Magnamara, sorry? Speech options? Uh, top options. Top ones. Okay. All right, then just run out and get your stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot to put my weapon. Might be good. Alright, so we're just doing the ranger quest, I guess. 
Yeah, yep. for that, uh, just look straight to the east and then go directly uh, southeast. Okay. While you're in here, you can loot all the purified water, sniper ammo that you want. Oh, nice. Just smash the radio and go back. So directly northwest of where you are. Sure. And once you're inside, uh, just talk to the intercom. Stand back from the door. So what is the speed of your fastest uh, run? With your new strategy? Minutes. How did you wow. Uh, 45 minutes. Wow, it's really good. I'm not actually going to bother submitting any times until I get under 30, though. Oh, that's fair. Or, not, not, not under 30, I'm like under 40, like when I'm in the 30-minute time frame. Mm -hmm. What is the fastest, I... fastest currently for like a glitchless run? Well, it's hard to say because like the fastest glitchless run, like what they consider glitchless on the speedrun site, uses a bunch of glitches. Oh, uh, okay. Like, it's using bunny hops the entire run. Uh, yeah. And it uses the old glitch from Morrowind and Oblivion where you put a piece, like an item down on the ground. Yeah. And then you, um, oh yeah, once you get into the office, just wait for like an hour or two. If sure. he's not there. Uh, but it uses the glitch where you put something down and then stand on it to launch yourself upwards. Uh. Yeah, I never like when they say, like, oh, that character's glitchless. Like, it was obviously not, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like it either. Yeah. He's like, why even have a glitchless category if you're just going to use glitches the entire time? I know. <laughs> so just agree to help him with everything. Okay. And come out, and you'll be accosted by another person. Agree to help him with everything, and then we're leaving. Sure. Well, first, uh, when... Like, when you go upstairs, uh, make a left when you see the Brotherhood signal like what I'm looking at right now. Mm -hmm. And you'll want to turn left there to go to the shop. Just follow this path down, and you'll be able to sell the Brotherhood armor uh, and weapons that you found. And uh, you'll cool. be able to get yourself whatever version of a Power Fist they're selling. Nice. So. Take a look. I got a ballistic fist. Uh, yeah, same ballistic fist. Then you can sell whatever else you have left to sell. That's just weighing you down. Yep. Thanks. So go ahead and equip the ballistic fist if you want, or you can stick with the uh, grenade launcher. I'll keep the grenade launcher just in case, but I think I'm going to use the ballistic fist for most of this. Uh, one thing, wait, equip your ballistic fir uh, fist first. Okay. And then then go to aid, because you start with some repair kits. Ah, uh, yes, yep. Just use all of them. Because that'll boost up your damage as well. Yep. Nice. Oh, 
Okay. So now I'm going to I'm going to quit mine as well because I want to get rid of the centaurs. But well, I guess I don't really need to. Are we going the old back up the mountain the old, then? Yeah, this is where I was going to show you that uh, thing I mentioned earlier. How it like it activates a checkpoint even though you're not actually close to it, but you can still go uh, like right up to the middle. Mm-hmm. Yep. So once we go out, we're going to go down the same path that we did before. Okay. So I'm going to go b uh, back on that hill where I was looking at the uh, scorpions. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, and then just run uh, straight through that path. And you can be a few seconds behind if you want to see what I'm doing. Uh, we're going to bypass a gate to make it to where we don't have to deal with the centaurs at all. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait a little bit until you're ahead. Nice work. This yeah. being an end game weapon, we're pretty set right now. <laughs> we are, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just took out a centaur so easily. <laughs> Very nice. So just stick along the left side of the wall here. And you can jump right over the fence. And the centaurs won't oh, play. Right. Then Neil's going to talk to you. Just ask him and then say goodbye. Okay. And from here, head direct like just stick along the road and go directly northeast. You see the icon for the waypoint show up on your uh, bottom left. As soon as it activates, open up your pit boy. World map, fast travel, select Black Mountain. It will put you on top of the mountain. Then you can turn left and just run north, bypassing the, all the death claws completely. Oh, wow. Nice. And from here, you can just walk to New Vegas. That's not the way that the old route does it, but that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Yeah. That was a... Some things... Sorry. Get... No, I was to say, that's a lot easier than what I used to always do, which is just use the, the stealth boy to sneak by the death claws and just cross your fingers. But of yeah. course, I, I wouldn't have the power fist then either from doing that. So this has been, uh, yeah, very helpful. All right, so we're just heading straight to Vegas, so we're going to go through um, the airport. Uh, I'll be going through the air... Uh, I'll be going through... The airport way uh, on my new route. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be going out this way first, just because I want to get the combat armor like as soon as possible. Ah, okay. So you remember um, where the combat armor was, where I showed you when you were uh, doing your new Vegas run? Uh, I think so. Not quite. No, I don't. Uh, not quite. Sorry. Oh, was it the from the the crashed, like the yeah, yeah, yeah the from the caravans. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So yeah. We're gonna be going there to get our free combat armor, which basically means that we got combat armor and a ballistic fist. Like we're end game ready. Yep. There's not really a whole lot uh, more that's going to hurt us after that point. Yeah, cool. The old route uh, was me wanting to learn everything, but wanting to do it successfully. Sure. Which is why there's always like all these extra steps. Mm-hmm. Just to make sure you don't die. Right, because 
I, it's not that I'm any better than I was back then. I just know I just like know more now than I did back then. Yep. Dude, I'm having so much bad luck. I just crashed again when I found Grub and Gulp. Oh no. You can keep uh you can keep going, I'll catch up. Are you sure I am? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh, when you run New Vegas, are you running it with the script extender? I think that's my issue is that I I did a clean install to make sure I didn't have any mods installed that would might affect the affect the run. All right, that's yeah, probably it... what's doing it. Yeah. Unfortunately, the way that the that this game handles uh, RAM, mm -hmm. like once like once it reaches two gigabytes, it'll just crash on you. Yep. Yeah. It's really unfortunate. And as you can see, this path also takes you by some extra merchants. So if you have some stuff to sell, you can just get rid of it. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey there. Need... Yeah, back on. Then up here, you, it, like I'm coming, like at the end of this long pipe here, like that's basically what I use as like a checkpoint to see that I'm going the right way for the uh, combat armor. Mm -hmm. Which, if anyone was like interested in speedrunning, like not so much for when you know like what you're doing with everything, but more for like once, you know, what, like when you're trying to figure stuff out. Uh, the best way to go about it, I would say, is to just go ahead and, like, make checkpoints for yourself. Like, stuff that you'll remember that's nearby stuff that you want to get. Yeah. And that way, it becomes, like, a kind of second thought that you even have to get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's easier so, than trying to remember exactly on the map where you need to go. Yeah. Yeah. So, combat armor. Nice. So, are we gonna be doing yes man, or is there a faster? No, Wait. yes man. Yeah, is the fastest. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, the old route, by my mind, I thought that just going straight to the um, the boomers would and getting like having met them and everything that way, I'd never have to bother coming up this way again before I get to Vegas. I thought that would be faster. Okay. But it's not. All oh, right. But this is, like I said, this is the old route. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, I'm surprised that it wouldn't be faster. Then go go in there first. Yeah, uh, the way that it works out on the new route, uh, just going. What I realized is, since I can just go into Camp McCarran and just go straight in. Uh, I can go in, get rid of Mr. House, uh, meet the Emeritas and the White Glove Society, uh, take care of Benny, uh, get the Platinum Chip, and then just leave. And uh... then be, and then the reason why that ends up being faster is just having done that, it gives me access to all the points where I'll be able to fast travel later on. And I can go right back to the city after I meet the Boomers. Nice. Versus now I'm going to have to go back to New Vegas. Mm -hmm. So for here, you can try and, like, once you get to this part, you can try and dodge all the shots that they fire at you. But we've got so many stim packs that it doesn't really matter. Okay, so just run straight to the gate. I just, I kind of hug the left wall a little bit. Sure. And then if you if you ever like actually get taken like hurt or something, then you can just use a stim pack mm -hmm. and get your feet fixed. Thought that I assigned that to a slot. Apparently, it didn't. 
don't worry about keeping yourself like all the way at full at full health, because uh, we're about to get some rest anyways. Ah, uh, sure. Hold it right there. Okay, combat armor secured. I'll take this from here. Welcome to. Hello. All right, and once I'm done with that, I make sure to put the combat armor before you uh, go to the boomers. All right. Yep. And so once we've done that, go back to. Where the closest point that you have to the entrance to New Vegas, and then you'll just want to start making your way to it. Sure. So, something kind of interesting. Um, whenever you do go to New Vegas, um, the terminal that prevents you from going to Mr. House is locked behind a lock that you have to have really good science to get through but as soon as you have the platinum chip like in benny's taking and uh benny's taking care of that lock is removed and you can get rid of uh mr house right then oh wow oh, i didn't know that yeah it's a really big time saver nice Like, most of the stuff that I've done so far in the new route is stuff that I would not be doing. <laughs> like, there's so much uh, just cut out. A lot of time saving. Yep. Leaves me a lot weaker to uh, damage. And I basically, my total defense... Uh, weapon pre-wise is that grenade rifle, which means I've got 20 shots of it. But I'll make do. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've used quite a lot of mine. Yeah, I've only got 10 left. Yeah, I guess that's the thing with, like, as you're cutting out all of these steps on your, on your new fastest run, obviously you're taking a lot more risks. Yeah. It's kind of like the like one like one of the things that I'll end up dealing with um, with the new route that I don't have to deal with on this one is whenever I'm going uh, between uh, Driver Nafi and the um, the geckos like I mentioned before, mm -hmm. uh, they can respond to sounds of me firing the mercenary. Thing, even if I'm just trying to get them off my back, can actually make the geckos chase after me. All oh, right. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, here, yeah. you just want to sell like whatever ammo you need to get yourself like to that, uh, like to that two thousand caps, and sell the cigarettes that we got earlier. Okay. Welcome to the stream, Underhill. Learning some speed running. And there. 2,000 caps, and now I can just stroll into Vegas. Nice. Like, I own the place, which in a little bit I will. <laughs> and coming shortly after we get into Vegas, uh, we won't have to worry about uh, healing anymore. Like, as you see on uh, my screen, like, I'm still at, like, half health, and I'm not doing anything to fix that. Right. So that's because... I'm not, 
we won't be taking damage, or are we gonna hit a heal soon? Uh, there's a you get access to a bed once you get rid of uh, Mr. House. Ah, uh, yep. So you just go in, use the bed, be done. Nice and easy. Actually, but uh, there's another bed that you get access to if you just go straight to Benny and um, get rid of him. Then you can actually sleep in his bed, so that'll work as well. Nice. How's it going, Unreal? Alright, so I've just got to the gun runners, so I'm not too far behind you now. Cool. Uh, yeah, just sell uh, whatever ammo or weapons that you have but don't need. Yep. And once you get into uh, New Vegas, go past the first gate and head straight for the tops. Uh, once you see, as soon as Benny gets to the bottom of the stairs, you're going to get like 900 EXP. And you'll be able to put all those points towards speech. And once you talk to Benny, uh, you'll want to use the Black Widow Park. Uh, you're going to be uh, using Benny, using you to get rid of Benny. Right. Trying to keep it EOS friendly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Second park, I just pick educated because why not? What few points, like what few levels that I'm going to get, I'm just going to get a few more points anyway. Mm -hmm. So once you talk to him, uh, just run straight to the back of the casino here, uh, bottom level. Get over and, to, go to his apartment, is it? Yeah. And then you can sleep on the bed, get yourself fully recovered, and that sleeping will cause him to appear. And then you can go to sleep again, but for different reasons. <laughs> Benny's gonna show you. Rip map, Perry. Platinum pussy cat. Yeah, R.I.P. Oh man. I'm gonna go Mick and Ralphs and sell some stuff. I've been waiting outside the uh, gun runners for 48 hours, but they're still not restocking their caps. All right. I'm gonna wait. You want me to wait here for a bit? Uh, yeah, just a little bit, so I don't fall too far behind. I'm worried right. that I don't have enough <laughs> loot to hit the 2K. I'm at 1,700 caps. If anything else, you can sell a couple stim packs or the super stim packs that you have. Yeah. I would start with the super ones. Yeah. Speaking of super stim packs, uh, if anyone's watching but don't know, uh, you can actually use super stim packs in Fallout 2 to bypass a lot of restrictions, like getting rid of somebody without causing any hostility towards you, because they come with a buff that does damage over time after you use them. So if you use them on a full target that's not going to gain anything from recovering health, you can actually cause them to get themselves killed by healing. Oh yeah, like with, uh, I think you were telling me about Frank, Hon Frank Horrigan, right? The end of the game. Um, not so much with him with the Super Stim Packs. Uh, it is funny though, uh, they have it, they have an Easter egg in the game to where if you have your, uh, your toe removed because of radiation it actually decreases his health by one <laughs> wow <laughs> it's, like, it's like oh big deal yeah <laughs> and i don't know how but there was a rumor that if you had it and then threw your toe out of it would kill him 
but that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure some mod has tried to implement that. I'm sure they did. Yeah. It would be really funny. All right, coming up on the strip. All right. Uh, just go uh, go forward that uh, that gate. Do your credits check. Mm -hmm. Victor will talk to you. Just tell him that you accept House's invitation and then ignore the invitation and go through the next door. Yep. Uh, that, and that's when you want to meet Benny and get your levels, put them towards speech, and then uh, use the Black Widow. Okay. So, something interesting with the Black Widow arc, most raiders are male. Most NCR people that you are going to meet are male. The Legion, they, anybody that you're going to fight is a male. Which means that the Black Widow perk is the, like, not even counting the discount that you get from, like, male vendors. Yeah. Just most of the enemies that you're going to fight, you're going to be doing 5% more damage against. Yeah, it is one of the best perks, basically, in the game, isn't it? Yeah, so playing as a woman in this game is completely busted. Yeah. Benny, oh yeah, here. Yeah, don't approach him too. Uh, he's go he's going to be coming down the stairs. Yeah. Black Widow. And then you just go to a suite, right? Yeah. And then you can rest, recover any health or injuries you might have, and then you can rest again. Yeah. And What's the... once you do that, uh, you'll want to talk to Yes Man, uh, but you'll want to talk to him before you do anything else. You want to talk to him about the tribes that you need to know, uh, get to know. Okay. And so what what that does is once you get rid of house and you um like you have the platinum chip back and everything, then you can tell yes man that you're ready to meet him at the thirty eight. You're not actually going to be going to the thirty eight yet, but uh like what that does though is that initiates a few checks in the game to where you can meet different factions. Oh, and right, this is yeah. gonna be this is going to be for the second run where this is like really important. Mm. Um, but cause I didn't know this when I, like when I was doing it the old way, uh, basically it makes it to where brotherhood people spawn as soon as you enter, uh, their bunker. Uh, it'll make it to where you don't have to actually talk to the great cons to, uh, to complete their checks. You just have to get into their camp. Oh, wow. Uh, with the with the white gloves, you just have to talk to Mortimer and then leave. And with the Omertas, you just have to go halfway through the first room and then you can turn around and leave. Wow. And then with the broom, the boomers, you still have to meet Pearl. That's not that's just unavoidable. Yeah, that's that sounds like a big time save. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what perk do I take at level four? Uh. I personally, I just take educated because you're only going to get a few more levels up, and I just like to put those points towards medicine for sure. better heals. Yep. So. But if you're seeing on my screen, I've already met the boomer, so I can say I want the main Nord. Yeah. And I want the Brotherhood left alone. So I just have to meet the Omertas, the White Gloves, and the Great Collins. So I've got the Platinum Trip. Benny's dead, so the check at Mr. House's terminal is now gone. And I'm going to head there right now and get rid of them.
if anyone was interested in like just seeing if speedrunning was something that you might want to do though i would suggest new vegas just because it is probably the easiest game that you're going to speed run yeah i think the great thing about new vegas is that a lot of people who play it tend to replay the game a lot anyway so they might already know some basic stuff that helps them get into the get started with the speed running right in my case i prefer three to new vegas but um speed running three takes a lot longer than new vegas just because there's not like new vegas is a lot bigger than three in the way that it does uh branch like the missions do kind of branch off as to where fallout three a lot of the missions are just kind of hidden behind like you actually finding the location where they're at and then talking to the right people yeah so it's it's like uh new vegas is more of a um oh i messed up it's like a more cater to experience mm -hmm. all right uh so when you go to talk to mr house uh you go upstairs talk to victor uh you go to the penthouse do not talk to mr house like i just did i don't know why i did that my mind slipped uh, just go straight left to the terminal. Uh, open the antechamber. And everyone starts shooting at you. Just ignore them. You've got combat armor. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. Activate the terminal in the next room. Unseal. As soon as you do, fire a single shot, and he's taken care of. Nice. You can just leave now. Yeah. I can say that my big tip for anyone is uh, if you're going to be speedrunning New Vegas, don't do it on a fresh install, uh, <laughs> because you will hit the RAM limit a lot. This was dumb. Yeah, in my head, because I knew like the, the, the version I normally have been doing all these streams on was a modded version that I couldn't un uninstall the mods from. So it kept crash uh, because it kept, uh, if I installed certain mods for whatever, it crashed. So I thought, oh, I'll do a fresh install. So it's like not going to be affected by the mods. <laughs> yeah, it's such a pain without yeah. the mods, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, for the third pick, I'll pick toughness. If for no other reason, I'll take less damage. Sure. That, that's going to be the, the last part that we'll probably get. Yep. And now if you're looking at my screen, we have access to the presidential suite. So if, if you need to heal before heading to the cons, you can just go in there, pop a quick one hour, turn around and leave. Yep. Hey, you there. I've been... Okay, so I'm gonna wait for you to catch up to this part. Okay. No, I'm I'm ready. Open it. Alright, go ahead and do the Mr. House section, and then uh, as soon as you leave, go into the Omertas. Okay. All you have to do is walk past, um, Morning. like, the stairs, and it'll usually activate saying that you want them ignored. Then you can just leave. Okay. Sure, later. All right, and I'll wait here until you get to the Amethyst part. Sure thing. All right.
Uh, what do we just do? Unarmed after speech, is it? Uh, medicine. Medicine. Okay. Just so your stim your stim packs will heal uh, heal you more. Sure. All right, and then it's the emeritus now. Yeah. Cool. Just uh, w just walk in. Uh, go past the stairs until you see it activate and say it's like, okay, you've met them. You did uh, get that part for the quest from Yes Man. Yes, yeah. I've, I've talked to him about the Emeritus and the White Glove and the Cons. So it should, okay. should have All a right, wild card. Uh, side bets. Yep. Yeah, just once you get past that, uh, past that uh, go to the next area, go back into the tops, talk to Yes uh, Man, tell him you're ready to meet him at uh, at the Lucky 38. We're not going to go there yet, but just have it there. Yeah. And then we do the same thing with the White Gloves, except we have to go a little bit further into the White Gloves. Uh, we just have to go in, talk to Mortimer, and then wait for a few seconds, then we can leave. Go think. Do you think I can play Xbox, play anywhere games without Xbox? Uh, yeah, I think they work on PC, but only certain games. Yeah, under Hell of Pride, yes. Oh, hi. Hey, I'm ready for you to meet me there. Now I'm just gonna leave, talk to more and more. And that's yeah, that'll be, that'll be Vegas done, right? It's just the cons then. Yep. Wow. And that's the only really risky part of the of the speed run. Just because the part between the geckos and the raiders, we can actually get killed. Hmm. And the whole says, I always hated how big this place was and how far the NPCs were from the entrance. Yeah, that's kind of all Vegas. Like, the casinos are massive. Um, I mean, it's good that they are, because it makes it feel more grand, but it does make running yeah. around them <laughs> take forever. Yeah. If you, like, if you're looking at my screen right now, like, you just look at the ultra and you're like, my god, this place is huge. Yeah. Good for world building, but it's a bit annoying for replays. And all you want to do is party, be fast. But... Kind of like the Starfield Massive City. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. Okay, so you see on uh, mine says uh, learn about the White Gloves by talking to one of its leaders. Mm-hmm. How may I be of service? I'm going to open up my slightly modded version of New Vegas instead because it's way more stable. All right, and now I can leave the white gloves and uh, go back to an earlier location so I can go to the great cons. Okay. Equip the grenade launcher because I might actually need it. Oh yeah, one interesting thing about New Vegas uh, while you're getting set up, um, the pre-war hat that you're seeing there, uh, it doesn't unequip things when you have them equipped. So, like, even if the thing is broken and it's still equipped, it technically still functions. All right. So, like, the perception that one is going to be, like, a permanent thing that you're saying. Yeah. So, I need to change the quest. And the closest place I, I have is the Shark Cropper, so I'm going to go there and then go southwest. When you see the new run compared to this run and how much more efficient it is, you're, you're going to wonder why I showed you this to be. <laughs> I think this is it's definitely a good first first timer speed run because of there's so many like safety nets. Yeah. Yeah, but I can already see there's a lot of uh, a lot of things that could be cut out. Yeah, and I'm excited yeah. to see like how much you have managed to like streamline it.
So one of the things that I mentioned before, like how the official like glitchless speedrun uses glitches. Uh, this part right here, where you can like, you can use the monorail to get into Vegas. Like what some guy, like what some guy will do is just put something down, like, and then hold it like you would like in the earlier Bethesda games, then jump on it, have it take you up, and then just get in that way. Which I I, I can't, I cannot justify considering that a glitchless run. Hmm. No. I think that's a bit too far. Like if if I went by that timing, the current the current world record's like twenty two minutes or something. By doing bunny hops and glitching into Vegas. Yeah, yeah. So it does cut out a fairly significant, like what do you think, 10, 15 minutes. There was some discussion when they were making that decision. The reasoning why they came to like to justify it was it was just boring to watch, and I was like. Boring, yeah, that's that's fine, and I don't disagree, but it should be it's like like no major glitches or something. Yeah, because like for me, like the the point of the speed runs, like I understand there is you need it to be somewhat watchable to a degree, but if it's called glitchless, I expect it if I'm clicking on the video, you know, to be fully glitchless. And I feel like most viewers are immediately going to be like, well, this isn't what I expected it to be when they start seeing that kind of stuff. Yeah. So we're basically just walking along the, like going south and then just walking along the, the wall until you see this uh, red, this red kind of truck. Mm -hmm. And you just want to go uh, west, west, southwest from there. Yeah, straight across the desert towards red canyon yeah you see this uh the radio tower between the three the three-story like apartment here mm -hmm. and the factory here yep you just want to head that way go cool. uh to the right of that radio tower yep and you're gonna have driver nafai's group right in those ruins and a group of geckos right over there yeah so let's want to stick to driver nafai you said right like he's safer, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just like a little bit, a little bit to the side with him. Mm -hmm. Just because if it ends up that we do have to fight something, it's better to fight the squishy people whose legs can be broken very easily than the geckos. Golden geckos, mind you, sometimes. Yeah. Or fire gecko. No, I'm sorry. I meant fire geckos. Yeah, they probably would be by now because we're level seven, I think. No, they're fire. They, yeah, uh, they they spawn as fire because because you're not wanted to come this way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as you can see, oh people yeah, chasing me. All right. And once you get past the radioactive barrels, you want to go a little bit to the right so that the geckos aren't coming after you. Cool. If you put your weapon away, you'll gain a little bit of speed. Doesn't look like I got any fire geckos on me. I'll be honest, this is one thing I like more than uh, in 3, the New Vegas, though. Uh, the encounter system, the way that it works in New Vegas, it's very catered. Like, you know exactly what you're going to come across, like, 95% of the time. Mm -hmm. um, in 3, I have had a random Deathclaw spawn right outside of Megaton, and <laughs> we have to... I lured it away to a group of raiders who it took out but while they were fighting it i managed to get into megaton and disarm the bomb so i could go to sleep no <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, I think it gets a good thing about New Vegas is much more consistent. Ball at three, you never know what's gonna that that can ruin like a good run. Getting something like that. Makes it F5 more interesting. F five for a quick save in case you need it. Mm-hmm. Wait, right, go ahead and pull out your grenade launcher, look behind you, they're chasing you. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, they're crippled now. All right, and then once you're past the toxic barrels, uh, go a little ways to the right so that the fire geckos don't come after you. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't think. Oh dear. That's not good. Well, that's what the grenade rifle's for. And the ballistic fist if we need it. But I think. Uh, I thought they were going to go for the fiends and not me. I mean, I'll be fine, but it's not. Not ideal. Yeah. I, is you, if you. Uh, I'm, after you're done with that part, like I'm right in the. Like where the marker is at the great cons. Cool. So, like, once you're right in here, uh, just wait for a couple seconds and it'll consider it that you've talked to them. Cool. Yeah, I love that ballic uh, ballistic fist. Yep. <laughs> Very powerful. <laughs> this is why. This is one of the reasons why I went through all the effort to figure out this route. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, that's such a good chokehold between the raiders and the geckos like directly afterwards you're just like oh my god what do i do <laughs> yep it's always good to have this fail safe so why is it uh you don't actually have to talk to the cons i have no idea it's just the way uh obsidian set it up yeah uh, fair enough um like as far as the actual uh checkpoints are concerned just you being just like just you being in the vicinity long enough or talking to very specific people like uh the white glove society's case uh that's really all that you need to do yeah i wonder in case of the with the case of the cons possibly people at all may, might have become hostile with them before starting the s mine quest and i wonder if that was like the the fail safe to make sure if they were hostile with the great cons they didn't have to go uh talk to someone it might have been. Yeah, as, uh, I, as Underhill just said, it's because the Khans suck. <laughs> so yeah, if people went in with that mentality, like, oh, I hate the Khans, <laughs> and they wanted to kill them all, uh, it would suck if you'd already killed Papa Khan. <laughs> all right, so now you're basically caught up with me. Um, yeah. So uh, I'm just going to go back uh, to the strip north gate. Uh, once you see that you've met the Khans, then you can travel back up, but wait until you get that message. Yeah, I think I have. Uh, you look new to the red. No, you. No, it's, uh, it's, it's yeah. It's just telling you that you've uh, that you've found their encampment. Yeah. So just yeah, you just have to wait for a little bit. Sure. You don't have to use the wait function. You just have to stand there for a second. Okay. happened uh oh yeah i've got it now okay all right so yeah go back to vegas and then the lucky 38 and then you just go up to the penthouse and talk to yes man yep and then you're going to have to watch a cutscene. so if you were trying to do a run of this um like if you're doing any kind of speed run, this is the kind of thing where you really look forward to because there's going to be an unskippable session that you're going to be dealing with, mm. and this is your chance to use the restroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, Mr. Ha and that section is right here. Yeah. So just go here and look down, and then use the restroom. Mm -hmm. Our left arm contains 
aims an X-45 Gatling laser quite deadly against our targets at medium range. That looks like fun. And for close range suppression and crowd control, we have this handy dandy 9mm submachine gun. Nice. While this is going on, uh, I'm sure you've seen frequently me uh, arguing with people in the at the Discord about Fallout 3 versus New Vegas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they always. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity. So they like to break up like the the uh, Raider gigs in uh, like in one, two in New Vegas. Mm-hmm. One thing I want to bring up because they're all talking about how they they've all got lore. Well. Their lore is basically all the same except for one variation on each side. They all came out of the same vault. They all came out at the same time. They all raided the same people. The differences between them is the cons, uh, like Obsidian, actually decided to make important. Mm -hmm. The Jackals never actually did anything of substantial note besides a single terminal entry and the vipers were intended to have something important related to them like assassinating a brotherhood of steel uh, leader but it's all hearsay uh, so yeah so the only act like the only actual uh, faction that they've actually done any work with is the cons yeah it's like so don't tell me that like uh they're more developed like than the readers right because like if you look at the history of like paradise falls for example like you've got mul like you've got multiple instances including a radio show about them with uh herbert daring dashwood mm -hmm. and so and also the the disruption of rockopolis and uh his stalwart Ghoul Manservant Ar Argyle that you can actually find in the cave for him. Yep. In the unmarked cave as well. It's like, yeah, like a hidden bit of lore. Yeah, and you've also got uh, terminal entries about radio starting businesses, like what they did with the Meyer Lurks uh, meat selling. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, back to the game. So, we want to hear it. We want to talk to Yes Man and talk about the tribes. Uh, tell them all that I don't want it, like that they can all be ignored. And when he asks about Kimball, says, just say, I don't care about uh, what happens to Kimball. And then he will tell you that you need to install an override chip. And this is going to be the last mission before the last mission. Yeah. By the way, I, I may be biased, but I love Moira's quest. Uh... I'm, I'm like just, mixed on that. I love the idea of it. I think most people hate the quest just because of her. Like the actual the actual idea of the quest and the quest outline. Uh, yeah, I actually really like. It's one of the better written Bethesda quests. It's more similar to like what people liked for Morrowind than the later ones. Okay, so uh, once you leave, uh, we're going to go up to Black Mountain, uh, activate it, and then once we travel there, turn left again, walk off the cliff the same way as we did before. Uh, but this time, go to the east, and my game probably just crashed. Yep, that looks like a, a crash with the script and standard. Yep. Right. Damn. R.I.P. Well, it's only fair that you get a new Vegas crash in a speed run. Right. We've got four between us now. I think I've, I've crashed three times. So, uh, do you actually care about getting the NCR hostile here? Are we going to use it, be using the uh, Stealth Boy? Uh, I'll or... be using this. Yeah, that's basically what the Stealth Boy is uh, for. Like, that's the reason why I was going for it. Yep. Is uh, mainly because... I was so concerned because like you can like you can go in there and not like not get them hostile if you can leave the building fast enough and do like a fast travel. Uh yes, Scott, uh, this is a glitches run. So like you can uh go like you want to do it at night like while most of them are sleeping. Yep. 
Um, so you want to because like the animation that it takes for them to get up, they won't turn they they won't actually turn hostile against you until they like until that's completed. Mm -hmm. So you need to run in, install the override ship, leave, and as soon as you leave the building, fast travel between like before anyone becomes hostile. Okay. Unless you've got the stealth boy, which we'll be using here, and then it doesn't so much matter. Yeah. Just stay crouched and you're fine. Stay out of the control room. Okay, so powered. Nobody knows I'm here. And back to Vegas. Final level up, all into medicine. Stimpaks are going to heal for a crazy amount now. Nice. Is it straight to the dam after this, or are we going to be build activating the army? No, we're done. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess we won't need the army anyway. It'd only make it slightly easier at the dam. So once you uh, go up to the penthouse, just talk to Yes Man and say I'm ready. This is a point where, like, if you were unsure of your run, if you wanted to go out buy ammo or any kind of stim backs, this is where you'd want to do it. Yeah, I think I'm ready to go. Okay, let's do this. You must get to the control room and install the override chip. Oh yeah, we still have the grenade launcher, don't we? Oh, no, I, I don't anyway. I've had, got no grenades left, but that's fine. Ballistic yeah, fist and stim packs. Yeah. All we need. If you stick on the left side of the wall, you can bypass most of the damage of the first, uh, the first group. Yeah. We've got the NCR on our side anyway. Okay, so once you go inside here, uh, you'll get a secure charm follower, which is fun. Yep. Go down to the offices. I think I went in the wrong building. <laughs> I went in the one that doesn't have an elevator in it. Uh, just continue. Oh, down. yeah, yeah. So it's just next the next one, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unarmed is so busted in this game. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Then you just go through the grate. And you stick to the left side here. And you'll talk to two power armored MCR people. You shouldn't be. And tell them uh, there's a lie, and she needs help. And they will leave. And you can go in, install the chip. This is neat. Here on, I'm. Uh, I've never done the quest this way. I didn't even know we could install the ship, the chip from here. Yep. Wow. Well, that's way easier so... than going to the Legion and doing it. Oh yeah. Uh, from here, you'll think to go left. Don't go to the right. Ah, uh, okay. And then just straight down this corridor. Let's get going. It's deceptive. I it that has lost me about thirty seconds so many times. Yep. To the point where I think I've done. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Hang on. So go to the right. So that's like the way we came, is it? Yeah. Um. Wreck. Yeah. Just follow. Yep. Uh, just because. Uh. Okay. Turn around. Go to the right from here. Let's get going. Right. And then make a right. 
through here. And yeah, just go straight down this path. All right. Yep. Then once you go inside, you just go left and blow it up. Now everybody hates you. Yep. But you have combat armor. And a pet mech. <laughs> <laughs> and so here you follow the same path that you did before. Are we just going back the way we came? Yeah, and then when you see the exit sign at the end of this hallway, you fo just follow it. Sure. Let the Legion and the NCR people fight it out amongst themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you can't beat the game with a single skill. Uh, well, speech, I guess. Yeah, speech. It, you if you just have speech maxed out, then. Yeah, but you would. You do bad. need to use some sort of combat, probably, just to survive. Oh no, I can beat it fully unarmed. I like I can beat it without killing anybody. Oh yeah, passive run. Yeah, trust her. Yeah. yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, you can. Uh, turn around the other way. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've got lost here. Is it this way? That's no, that requires a key. Hold up, uh, go back. I'm gonna, this is probably a little bit late to see on the stream. I'm gonna stop at the crossroads. All right, uh, I'll just go back this way. Uh, go back to where you uh, saw the NCR uh, in the power armor. Okay. So, yeah, I'm back at the where we installed the chip. All oh, right, so I know where to go. Yep, the way we came. Oh, my Securitron died. R.I.P. All right. All right. Yep, I'm back with the aroma. So once you like once you're out from here, uh, looking to to where like all the legionaries are dead on the floor, uh, you want to make a left here. Yeah, I think that's my what I've done wrong. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'll head back there now. Okay. Yeah, then just follow this path. Okay, so when you exit the chip room, turn right. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so like you're looking at the bodies here? Yep, yep. So uh, go left. I'll go left. Oh, okay. And then just stick on this left on this left side of the wall. And you yep. come into this little kitchen and you can leave from here. All right. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, and, and just then make a, onto the legate. Yeah, just, yeah, just make a right. Use uh, stim packs as you need them. Mm -hmm. You're not going to run out. You can ignore most of the NCR people here. Yep. Or just jump over the wall like I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, for like any kind of, like I occasionally do like a birthday stream or something. And like I'll do an unarmed, like a completely like no kill run. And I wanted to see how much of that game I could do without actually killing anybody. And I managed to do about 70% of it. Nice. Which was pretty awesome. Yeah. 
But yeah, so from here, you don't have to fight anybody. You just, just ignore them. Like, yeah, it just kind of sidestep them if you absolutely have to. Okay. And whenever you talk to the legate, just uh, use the peaceful options and then sp uh, uh, speech checks when they come up. Mm hmm. Come on! Pick off. Yeah. It's pretty much the same strategy I've used every time I've done the legate. I don't think I've only, I've only fought him, I think, once. I'll always be, like get the speech that? options otherwise way easier all the uh bartering option which is essentially the same thing right An envoy of fate. Degenerate. okay and then you'll get another level up Put the points into whatever you want, doesn't matter. Yep. Because we're done essentially. Well, I've ever done the, uh, the NCR. The way that if we were to try and submit this, the way that they would want it timed is when Oliver is thrown from the bridge, that's when the timer stops. Ah, oh, okay. But like I said, I'm not going to bother submitting a time until. Like, I get under 40 minutes. If I were to submit a time, I would be in the top 80, which is fun. Nice. Well, this is definitely my fastest run. Under an hour. I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> but technically, it would have been a little bit longer than an hour. We started about six, but we crashed a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, once I'm um, once he gets thrown from the bridge, I will be quitting and then, re then restarting the stream just to kind of clear the memory from the game. Sure. You did a good game. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. All right, and, and now to do a normal like uh, the new route. The uh, yep. Do you have any questions about the run? Or does anybody in chat? I think I'll... Is it okay if I ask stuff as you're playing, or would you prefer... No, go ahead. Yeah, yeah I'll probably ask it as, as you're playing. Just to, mostly because I'll know now the difference between your old run, which we've just done, and what you're doing in the new one. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the, old, the old run, I would say, is a really good run to do, like, if you want to learn, like, what to do. Mm-hmm. The new run, unless you're using glitches, uh, the only thing I really have left to do is optimization, and there's not a whole lot of that that I, that I can do. Like, basically, the things holding me back the most would be RNG. Mm, yep. Like, if I could get a perfect run where neither Nify nor the geckos see me, and I don't have to worry about that at all, then it would be perfect. Yeah. And that's just and if, based on time of day and the walk cycles and everything. Very hard, isn't it? Yeah, and then the, there's the other thing of, like, not getting hit by the boomers. Yeah. Um, not half, like, enemies... Honestly, the like, an enemy going left, decide, like, deciding to move left or deciding to move right can be the difference of a loss of, like, five seconds. Yeah. That's rough. Seizing any items of technology All right, they so deem me quit the game. Restart. <laughs> Underhill says he proposes the oblivious run. So I guess it's like a pacifist run, but nobody can die on screen. You can place, I guess, grenades in people. <laughs> that would be hard because the Securitrons, they're going to be there to, like no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> So, let me know when you're ready for me to start. Yeah, go for it. All right, uh, let me look at the thing here. I'm not installing a timer right now. All right, starting in three, two, one, go. So we started at 2.35. Okay. Take note, I will answer any questions that you ask, but I will not stop moving. Sure. You're awake it's not so much that i 
wouldn't want to stop moving is that a lot of what a lot of what's become in the new route is kind of muscle memory at this point nice get your bearings let's see and like i don't want to mess the timing of it yeah your name can you tell me your name it's a shame that i mean obviously mods aren't allowed for obvious reasons but like a mod that removes the pop-ups in this initial part of the game i think that would be that should be that allowed be almost nice. yeah uh there are actually some uh in some cases some mods that are allowed ma mainly to address the stability of the game mm, that makes sense because the like the reason why it crashes so much like at all is just because it loads up so many things and if it reaches past that uh two, gig uh, two gigabyte limit then there's just nothing that you can do yeah so you can either have a crash guaranteed in the game or you can allow a mod that prevents like it from doing that with like it reduces the it either extends the ram quantity to four gigabytes uh or it remove zones that were previously lo like loaded in mm. so like there can be exceptions it's just like a matter of like what they would consider to be acceptable yeah and i guess to some degree like your ability to click okay on the pop-up i guess is almost part of the speed run yeah uh like just being able to hit all the menus like really really quick yeah Same stats as before, that didn't change. Sure. Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brains some good. Well, we know know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter than a big horn and drop them. The ten in intelligence is purely for the skill points, is it? So you can max out speech. Yep. Yeah. See if your dogs are still barking. All right. Have you ever played around with different languages? Are there any that are faster or? Uh yeah. If you play in. Typically with most games, if you play it in Japanese, it's faster. Alright. Is that, like, um, counted as a different run? No. No? Oh, okay. It only, it's only a different run if you're playing, like, a different version. Like, if there was, like, a Japanese release of the game. Sure. But if you're just selecting a different language, then there's not really a big difference. Ah, fair. In this case, I selected the explosive just to give the, um mercenary uh rifle a bigger like hump mm -hmm. kill good natured all right i guess that about does it come with me i'll see you out you have anything else good um Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, I was almost about to say. Yeah. All right, guys, time to restart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're done with good springs. We're just gonna leave. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess you don't need the self boy for the NCR bit anymore. All right, and these. I don't even, I'm going to equip armor, but I don't, like, even need to actually sell anything. Yeah, you're going to be using the airport to get into uh, New Vegas, so you don't need the caps anymore. Right. What I found out was, I knew that they turned hostile, but I, like, I didn't ever bother taking that route. Like, I knew I could get in using it, yep. but, like, I never actually bothered to, um to use it because i thought that it turned the ncr hostile on you it doesn't it just turns those specific people hostile on you oh right which is 
awesome. Yeah, I actually, yeah, I didn't realize it was only, only those two. I've always got got the uh, the armor. You can steal some NCR armor to bypass that. Yeah, usually what I would do, uh, like this is before the old route I showed you. Um, I would get uh, to Camp McCarran, how there's like, that wall around the camp where like the raiders are always fighting, um, like the NCR, mm -hmm. and usually one of the NCR people would die, and I would just take his armor. Yeah, and that's how I would use the monorail, and then. Once I realized that I didn't need to do that, I was just like, oh, well, okay then. And I'm aware that I'm being hit right now. I just don't actually care. Yeah. Do you get, do you get slowed when you get hit? Or is it just, no, you don't. It doesn't look, doesn't look like it. Unless you're, um. Crippled, I guess. Like, yeah. As long as you're not crippled, you're fine. The important part is, like, as long as nobody's using explosives or driver defies melee weapon, uh, is club. Mm -hmm. uh, that can actually cripple you pretty easily. Yeah. But as long as it's not something like that, then you're usually fine. That's why with the boomers, like, I just keep going forward and using stem backs because I really don't want to stop. Yeah, yeah. I forgot the powder gang is on hostile either. There's so much like basic stuff I do while playing the game, like doing the Good Springs quest. I'm so used to things like the uh, powder gang is being hostile. Yeah. So we're going to like we will not be interacting with the Brotherhood in this playthrough. The... We're, we we. We still are required to, but mm -hmm. once we uh, get to that point, I'll just, it's not so much a glitch as it is, I guess you could say, a bug. Um, basically, uh, whenever you get, like, whenever you actually get to house, and like I told you how that unlocks a whole bunch of checks. Yeah. Well, one of the checks that it unlocks is that the Brotherhood will actually come out to meet you, and they will lock the door behind you when you enter the, their building. Uh, but because the Brotherhood is spawned at that point, um, but, um, but because the uh, Brotherhood is actually spawned at that point, like it counts as them, um, like having met you. So you are free to, like, you're just free to come in after that. Oh wow, that's convenient. Or, I'm sorry, you're, like, you're free to say that you don't want to... Yeah, like, you're, you're free to don't say... don't want to mm -hmm. worry about them. Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't say that's a glitch. That is just a bug in the game. Yeah. Alright, so same thing as before, except for I'm not going to be picking up the power armor either, because... Why? I can't equip it. Uh, and yeah. And I'm not, like, not going to be selling anything. Yep. I guess there isn't a significant difference of like doing any kind of inventory management to make your run speed slightly faster. Yeah, basically the way that like what I'm doing now is just removing all inventory management to begin with. Yeah. Like, there's only one more part of this that I should need to worry about inventory stuff, and that's with the geckos and the raiders. Mm hmm. This is a dangerous place. What level do you need for the, the speech checks? Four, is it? What's up? What level would you need to, to guarantee the speech checks at the end? 100. No, but like uh, the actual player level. Like, is it level three or level four? Like, oh, uh, you know, hit that. Like, Level five, I think. Yeah, uh, I guess it doesn't matter because you'll get so much XP from meeting Benny that you're pretty much guaranteed to have enough speech points on you, like just doing yeah. the quests. Well, you well you meet Benny and then you kill him and then that's another level up. Yep. And then once you get rid of House and leave and then, like that's basically another one. Yeah.
But yeah, so we're just going to be making a beeline for McCarran. Uh, there's going to be one uh, small change, though. Uh, in order to make getting to the cons a little bit faster, we're actually going to be getting a point to uh, warp to them first. Okay. That's going to be the the rock crushing plant? Uh, close to it. Okay. It's more like it's only a couple meters away, so just walk the the little amount that it requires of you. Yeah. Oh, it's like the apartment building. Is it, is it by the gate? Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. Right. It's right there. That red building. Yeah. I just don't want to go too close because that right there is where the death claws are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's never a fun time. <laughs> unless well, unless it's Fallout 4 and then the Death Cloud Claws are basically kittens. True. <laughs> yeah. It's like a, Fallout 1, a Death Claw. Oh god, I'm dead. Yeah. Fallout 2, Death Claw. Oh no, my team is dead. <laughs> Fallout 3, Death Claw Saitere. Nope. Yeah. New Vegas, Death Claw Quarry is like, oh god, please help me. Fallout 4, Death Claw. It's like, I'm already in power armor. What do I care? Yeah, Death Claw is literally a level one enemy in Fallout 4. <laughs> you like the sight of your own blood? I'm not gonna take all of this out on them. You like the sight of your own blood? But like as we get closer to the NCR they'll start shooting them and take the attention away. Yeah. There we go. Have you ever ran out of steam packs using this uh run? No. No? That's, like, that's good. I'm going to take the time to stop for a second, but yeah, I've still got like 16, 16 left. yeah. And there's only going to be like one more combat section really after this. Mm -hmm. If I ever need stim packs, I can always just go to with the followers and that'll pretty much handle anything I need to do. Yeah. All right. So now I'll have a quicker warp back when it's time to meet the con. Nice. Is this the, the standard glitchless run? Or, I mean, obviously, I guess it is kind it, of your invention because, like you said, the glitchless run uses glitches. Yeah, if, yeah. I was doing the, if I was doing the glitchless run, this is what you'd be seeing the whole time. Yeah, yeah, just loads of bunny hopping. Which tell me that's more funner, like than seeing someone actually understanding what yeah, they're doing, exactly, and being able to interpret it. <laughs> it's just yeah, it's just far more annoying to watch. I'd say that this is my standard. Yeah, I think I only ever do bunny hopping just because I'm bored running walking between places. But I only maybe every ten jumps do I actually hit a bunny hop. Most of the time, it's yeah. just me jumping. <laughs> just cause yeah, of, like, yeah. if you're going to actually, like, make, make, like, try and make use of it and gain speed, then, like, you have to be able to hit it, like, so consistently. Yeah. And at that point, Which, they, they might even be using macros, and then that's, like, a whole other story, isn't it? Yeah, and it's, like, there's no real way to tell if somebody was or not. Exactly. Which, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not dunking on anyone... Like that actually does the speed runs that way, but like, believe me, like, like seeing these people, like, what they can do is partially the reason why I wanted to even try and doing it myself. Mm -hmm. I just think it's really dumb to cons like just consider that glitchless. Yeah, totally. All right, we are in Camp McCarran, and nobody cares. Or, I'm sorry, we're in Vegas and nobody cares. Yep. <laughs> well. I bet it feels real. Had it, partner! All right.
So we're like 15 minutes into this now? Yeah. That's really fast to get the Benny. Well, sometimes you just got to make that call. Mm-hmm. Okay. What in the God? We'll go and do our Matthew Perry tribute real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Necessary every run now, unfortunately. It was uh, something interesting. Whenever uh, it was announced, like what had happened, though, mm -hmm. uh, the the people playing New Vegas went up by about twenty thousand. Oh wow! Your now, I, found, I found that that was the day a lot of people even realized that he played Benny. Like so many people R seemed shocked that he was the uh, voice actor. Yeah. And again. You just love. I thought I misclicked something, so I wanted to check. On the new route, we will not be coming back to see Yes Man until we're done with everything else. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Do you do the uh, the Vegas guys first? Yeah, just doing them before I leave. Yeah. Since I was, well, mainly because mainly I have to run all the way to the um, the boomers anyways. Mm -hmm. So, like, if, if there's going to be a time loss for anything, I'll just get all of them out the way at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Change the mission. Beg your pardon. How may I be of service? Then with the Americans, just go in and leave. Yeah. Do you do the, the boomers first or the comms? Uh, boomers, since I'm already on the way there. Uh, like, basically, once I get to the boomers and talk to Pearl, I can uh, fast travel right back to the extra checkpoint where I got to the comms. Sure. What? You expect a punch mark? Yeah. That's really convenient. I always thought you had to talk to the uh, receptionist rather than just walk inside. Yeah, I did too. I thought I had to actually talk to uh, Kachino or Big Sal. Yeah. <laughs> always a good time save when you realize something like that. You look new to Freeze. 
but yeah, if I absolutely need to, I've still got the super stimpacks that I can fall back on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you think of it, you don't actually ever... You didn't need the, the combat armor because you have so many healing items. Right, so like, honestly, the eight defense that you get just with the starting leather armor is pretty much all that you need. Mm. Now, if you're going to be, like, playing the game and doing, like, the much harder missions, then, yeah, you're going to want to get the combat armor, and there's two of them that you can pick up, so if you've got a good repair skill, you like, you got a fully repaired set of combat armor, you're, like, you're good for the rest of the game. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, that's the main reason why I always get the Talon Company after me on 3. Uh, oh, for the same some... reason. Just constant repass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not so much that I care for the karma of the situation. It's uh, they are going to basically be funding my entire game. Yeah. Just by having them trying to kill me since... Assuming the worst, like, say they actually do somehow get a successful ambush on me and, like, do damage, their combat armor is still going to pay for any kind of, re like recovery that i need and mm -hmm. still gonna buy me a bunch of ammo or like medicine or whatever yep so like the worst case scenario of them ambushing me is i still make like 500 caps yeah <laughs> oh that's one thing i wanted to uh bring up because we were talking um in not this last stream but the one before it, uh the reason why i like the mothership zeta oh yes yeah um so a lot of the like a lot of the game is based on like what you would see in like the late forties and the fifties, you know, as far as science fiction is concerned. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at a lot of shows from that era, like Lost in Space. Uh, like you're going to be, um, like you'll be coming across like all these different spaces. Like you look later on, like Star Trek, and the absurdity of like what those shows actually, you know, showed, like interaction could be like. And I think the way to describe, like, the reason why I might like that DLC a lot more than other ones is I was a big fan of that era. Mm -hmm. um, like, I grew up with my dad always watching this stuff and, like, me watching it from behind him. So I think I have a little bit of an affinity. Yeah, yeah. I totally so what I don't. Yeah, yeah. I totally understand what they were going for with the DLC. Like, with introducing, like, the, the characters from different timelines. Like, I grew up watching yeah. a lot of um, Stargate, like SG-1, which is kind of like a, I guess was almost a modern, like a 90s version of Star Trek in that they were trying to do that same thing of like introducing the different cultures and stuff, especially with the time traveling. So it's almost exactly the same as uh, Mothership Zeta. Mm -hmm. So I always like, I like that regard. I think my, my disappointment, and this actually carries through to most DLCs from Bethesda, it's just it's, they're, they're so short that they never get to fully explore the ideas yeah yeah like the concept's there and it's good but it's like it's not as, as explored as it could have been especially when you compare to new vegas where i feel like the dlcs are a little bit larger good run i only got hit once wow don't even need the heal nope nice save me a bunch of stim packs right there but yeah, no, I, I get the reason why some people don't like it. It's the kind of thing to where it's like the same reason why some people don't like it. It would be the same, like the same reason why some people do like it. Mm -hmm. Welcome. I think overall, Fallout 3 is much more disliked than I think it should be. Like when I come to do my retrospective, I'm not as I'm not definitely don't have as a uh, as harsh opinion of, on the on the game as a lot of people do. I think it was it, it was very successful in introducing Fallout to a new generation. I I think the big thing is people's um, like there is of course the opinion that like Fallout Three is more uh, disliked, which it's true at the like right now it is more disliked. But what I think a lot of people don't seem to remember, um, is a lot of people didn't like New Vegas when it came out. Oh yeah, for sure. And, like, I, I see people often bring up that, you know, like, the um like the bonuses that were lost because they didn't reach 90 on Megacritic. The thing is, Bethesda had nothing to do with that. And no. I'm not def like I'm not necessarily defending the recent changes that Bethesda had made. But if you're looking at it, just like, strictly going from Fallout 1 to Fallout 2, it's really hard to justify saying that Bethesda made no attempt to try and, 
like cater to those like to the fans of the original series is why they like even have the vat system in the first place yeah like fallout 3 is a, almost a retelling or like a very soft reboot of fallout 1 and that it carries like most elements through so they, they clearly Absolutely. made a lot of effort in trying to appeal to the old school fans and introduce a whole new generation to the series i think I think the uh, the part of it that kind of bother oh, uh, the part of it that kind of I'm not gonna say gets to me, but like I, I don't feel that a lot of people consider very much. There is um like whenever they're like whenever they are talking about um I'm just gonna use all of my uh, sets. Like whenever they're talking about like why like one game is better than the other one, which sure you can argue that, um, but the assumption is made that uh, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout Three were using the same level as the creation engine, which is just not the case. Like Fallout Three, when it was begun working on like the creation engine, was years and years earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, what? like what obsidian got access to was basically the engine at the time of fallout 3's completion which basically means that they got the engine at a point where the development of skyrim had started yeah and so like if you're looking for a difference in stability like a y1 might be like significantly better than the other one like i just feel like that's something that you should probably take into account yeah, for sure. I mean, New Vegas is essentially a, a full conversion mod of Fallout Three. Like they've done, they did some engine work. I know. Um, like I've been researching, they did some some basic cleaning up. But like most of most of the stuff they did was all like surface level, working with the actual um the tools the modders had themselves, like the mod tools. Right. There wasn't which, much I'll, the developers could do. Which I'll be uh what like one thing I, I will say like just in defense of it as is that something that's so awesome that very few companies are willing to do. Yeah, that, that's Basically, the only way Obsidian could make the game in that time was because of those mod tools. Yeah, but like just the fact that Bethesda like trusts its fan base so much that they're willing to like let them essentially have the same tools that they use to make the game. Mm -hmm. Like that's just so awesome yeah like and I, I love all the mods that like i've seen come out from it like all the different story mods uh for like oblivion skyrim and like new vegas there's even a really good uh story mod for fallout 3 it's a little bit difficult to get working today mm. but it basically adds uh like a sister to your character and elaborates a little bit more on the lore like of your parents and everything that's cool yeah, that's that's the main thing, and that's what I'm, I'm also gonna bring up, bringing up in the Starfield critique is that, that while it's so awesome that they do that, I think at almost to a point, and you can't, you can never like say this uh, objectively because there's no like leaks that have come out, but it feels like they rely on that modern community in terms of they know, ten years from now, Starfield will probably continue to sell well because there will be Star Wars mods or there'll be you know there will be an article on the news like oh awesome new Starfield mod released. Like, like released you know like this month kind of thing it, so it's not that like they they know no matter how average the game might be because they are releasing the mod tools and because they are they have built the engine to support those mods that it will continue uh to have that fan base i'm a little bit lost why am i seeing victor right now did i mess up somewhere i don't think i, I don't did. think so you've done boomers you've done cons uh, you just need to kill house, right? Oh, that's what. Yeah, that's what I haven't done yet. Okay. Yeah. Penthouse four. The power armor slender man bug still exists in Fallout seventy six. Oh yeah, they they struggle to fix their bugs. That's for sure. I think the the slender man bug is actually still in Starfield, but uh, it's not consistent on how you can activate it. I'll say one thing though, I would rather Bethesda stick with the creation engine than like switch over to Unreal for one main reason. It's a lot easier to mod the creation engine since everybody knows how to use it. Yep. 
uh, Unreal would certainly give more stability, but you would not have nearly half of the mods that you get access to today. Mm -hmm. That's always the the big risk is if if they can like change the engines, you might have old school modders who have been modding since Morrowind, so they know the tools from back then uh, that they can still use today, and they might not want to learn you know the new mod tools, and they might lose yeah. then some of the best modders they have because they don't want to, to switch over. Uh, yeah, and lately the uh, the the people that they've been hiring have been modders, uh, yeah. like for Skyrim and Fallout Four, because they're like like so impressed with what they've seen people do that it's like, yeah, they, this is something we definitely want. Yep. The the modder who did a lot of there was a Fallout Three and Fallout New Vegas mods. I forgot what they were called, but they added like extra interiors. So I think they were called like uh, Fallout Three. Uh, new interior DC interiors and for New Vegas Mojave interiors. The modder who did that was hired to do the interiors for Starfield, like in terms of putting all the clutter everywhere. Was it uh, Eleonora? I think so. Yeah. And yeah, they did a great job. Like that's why the that's why Starfield's like the interiors are amazingly uh, cluttered. By the way, did you that one uh, that first shop that you went to during the Starfield stream? Did you, you find out if that was like just a one-time bug thing, like it not showing up, or is that just no? Like that, that, it, it's still like that. Um, it's, it's it looks like cut content. Honestly, it's uh, okay. no idea why it's like that. It's so weird. I checked it the other day actually to get footage to see if they fix it on the latest patch, but nope, it's meant to be like that. The shop that has no in not no inventory, nothing on like no shelves, nothing. But then you can go to another shop in the uh, in the well, the underground section of that city, and it's exactly as you expect from their other games. Like you know, shelves with loads of stuff on it. You can like steal if you want to, just luck out. So I think it is ran out of time. Whoever was assigned that interior didn't finish it. I don't know. Seems very odd. I I thought there was a quest associated with it. Like maybe it's meant to be a front for like. I don't know, some criminal organization or something, but it's you never go to it. Like There's nothing that directs you to that building. I remember, like, everybody was so confused, like, that there was, like, no items there. They were just looking around, wondering... Yeah, like, what... Did, what did they sell? I know. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't make sense. It still doesn't make sense. I just... it, it There's a lot of stuff in, in Starfield that feels like they ran out of time, uh, which is bizarre, because it has such a long <laughs> development cycle, but... Yeah, I was speaking of that. I was uh, made a joke that um, I've been joking with uh, people in my fantasy star group. Um, it's been as long now from the release of uh, TS one through TS four. Mm -hmm. Like we've had that same time of a release from uh, TS five to the next game already. Yeah, and there's still nothing. Yeah. So like I was like if they take some like another three years, which like like it likely will, then we're gonna have people that were entering uh, school at the time that Arena came out, uh, and they will be done with high school. Yeah, that's crazy. It's when Skyrim came out, isn't it? They'll be entering school when. Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. That's also like, a big from worry, the time I that think. They actually for the for the series is that they have to appeal to a brand new audience who they might not have heard of skyrim i mean they might have done if they're in the game and because skyrim is so prevalent they probably have heard of it but to them that's like some ancient you know some ancient game they'll be growing up well, with a completely new era yeah well that was one of the things i was arguing with uh one of my friends in the fantasy tar community is um like, I get the games take longer now, but this is so ridiculous to the point to where, like, you're looking at a sequel that's coming out 15 years later, a sequel to the most popular game they've ever made. Yeah. And it's if it's taken that long, you're essentially having one game per generation. It just, like, I, it feels like, well, they I, said they spent years upgrading the engine in the Starfield. And I can feel it. Like, there's a lot of stuff they've clearly done, like, so the game can handle so many more NPCs. It's uh, way more seamless in terms of loading screens, which I know that's a big thing. People say, oh, there's so many loading screens. But only for, like, switching between, like, going into space and stuff like that. In terms of running around on the planet's surface, 
Uh, the planet surfaces, by the way, are bigger than Oblivion's home, like uh, the entire Oblivion map. And they have no loading screens in, like, walking into a city or walking out of it. Like, they fixed that issue that you had in Oblivion and Skyrim. So there's clearly a lot of engine upgrades they've made. And I think we'll only see if that was worth it when the Elder Scrolls 6 comes out. Like, that's when, if that game comes out and it has, you know, you can walk into a city seamlessly and there's no loading screen... And assuming they're going to be working a lot on loading screens because that's big one of the big criticisms they've had. That that's when that's it might what... feel like they're like, oh yeah, that time they spent on Starfield, like it was worth it because they've done they've upgraded the engine. That's what I forgot to do. I forgot to go to the Brotherhood. Oh shit! Oh, that's on about a minute and a half lost. Yeah. Uh, the Underhill set Underhill says uh, it was patched forever ago by the community. Yeah, well, that's yeah, that's Bethesda consistently do that. That's that's one of the things when I was saying earlier about how it feels like Bethesda rely on their modern community. Uh, a lot of times they don't patch a lot of the bugs, and you will have an unofficial patch within a week that just is basically carrying over the bug fixes from the previous game into the newest one. That that's where it feels like they almost rely on the community, uh, because you know again we have no proof that this is the case, but it feels like they're saying, "Oh, why would we fix the bugs when we know within a week there'll be a mod that does it for us?" All right, doing a quick save here because I have to go in, fire this thing once, and then leave before the door shuts. All right. He's waiting for the, the quest yeah, message, is it? Yeah, it's so precise. So, like, now you see that they've spawned in. Mm -hmm. So, my reaction to them, boom. Now I'm in caution, so they know I exist. It's a matter of waiting for them to get close enough, and we're done. Nice. Uh, Underhill says, I'll figure I'll play Starfield in five years when all the bugs and... When all the bugs are fixed and there are 500 mods. Yep, that seems... The, yeah, that's exactly what I was saying earlier. It seems like Bethesda, they always have that confidence and they know because they released those mod tools and the modders are so passionate that that game will continue to sell well because there's guaranteed to be a load of mods and there'll be some total conversion a couple of years from now that makes everyone super hyped to go play it. But again, that's, that's you know, that while... Bethesda might rely on that to some degree. It's still awesome that they've released those tools in the first place that allows that to happen. So, that's part of it. Few... Oh, yeah, go on. Sorry, guys. No, no, go ahead. I was just going to say, I lost a few minutes because of that, so there is no chance for uh, well, like a PR or anything. Right now. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah. I'm not too worried about it. It's just yeah. Mostly just to show like what the current route is. Mm hmm. Don't care. Okay, I'll get it back. All right. And this is the part where I was saying, like, you can you can do this, but you have to go in, put it in before anyone comes hostile, and then get out. Mm-hmm. So back to Black Mountain. That Black Mountain thing uh, with the fast traveling that I figured out is just so time saving yeah because you're right next to the power station it's like death laws nope cazadors nope. nope yep oh yeah you don't have to wait for nighttime now either do you or are you still gonna do it i'm still gonna do it just so that they have to actually get up sure ah so they don't stop did... shooting and everything yeah, if I didn't have to do the Brotherhood, I don't have to worry about this. I would be getting here like a right at the right time. Mm -hmm. uh, Girlfruit said, unrelated, but the realization that you didn't have to buy the giant's knife to get the big Goron sword in Zelda Ocarina of Time uh, saves so much time and effort. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it it's, yeah, it's big time saves like that, which is all about what these runs are about, you know? Like, you never know. I'm, like, you might find a month from now, you'll find another massive time skip. I don't know what it would be because this this game seem this run seems already so optimized, but you never know. Death claws are our friends in Fallout. Yeah, in Fallout Two and Fallout Tactics, they're your friends. Me and uh, me and Girl Fuge, uh, we've been playing uh, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time randomizer like co-op. Oh yeah, 
so some of my items have been in her worlds, uh, some of hers and mine, and uh, some of both of ours, like with her uh, boyfriends. Oh, uh, yeah. So we're just like, we can't progress unless the other person knows what they're doing. <laughs> so it's been really fun. Yeah. But it's been a while since I've played Ocarina of Time. It's always a good game to jump back into. All right, let's do this. Wow. So right uh, in 40 minutes. Oh, actually, on my PB, uh, we started this at 35, and it's been 40 minutes. Oh, wow. If I can do this in five minutes, I will PB. Done. Let's get going. And then just think about the time save. If, uh, well, think about if you're more optimized than the Brotherhood on time. Oh, uh, scratch that. Four minutes now. Because uh, I didn't realize it was so close to the minute turning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still possible. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine just said, I hope the run went well. Uh, he will know in a couple minutes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be here. Bye, people. <laughs> this is me. What's up, Legion? I'm not gonna kill him. Save him. Because he's another person to be shot at. Yep. Glad that's over. Watch out! Had enough? It is surprising how much that uh, early game lever armor is carrying you through. Right? I guess that's the power of the DLC <laughs> items. Two minutes, I don't think it'll happen. No. Close, though. Yeah. I think it'd be two minutes to get rid of Lanius, but you'll still have to talk to uh, the general. If I crashed right now, I'd be so sad. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. No. But 40, I'll take a 46. Yeah, very close. If you hadn't had that, like, two-minute delay with the Brotherhood yeah, thing. Yeah, if I didn't mess up the Brotherhood, I'd probably be being there by, like, 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. But, um, honestly, the mo that's the most important thing, like, if you're going to try and speedrun something, is to not get upset when you don't PB, because you PBing is probably going to be, like, a once-every-year thing. Yeah. Like, like, once you actually get a really good time. Mm-hmm. Since I didn't kill anything, I don't get that extra level up, so that saves a few seconds. Oh yeah, you actually don't want to level up because it obviously you have to go through all that menu. Yep. So like, I only kill when I absolutely have to, just because that that like that little bit of EXP, like you saw how close I was to leveling there. Mm-hmm. 
That little bit of EXP can screw you over so badly. Yeah. Caesar on the cross. Guess it ain't no secret. Nice. Congrats. And time. Did not beat it. Well, it'll be time once he's once the scene's over. Yep. No. No. <laughs> time what was the final time 45 minutes 38 seconds oh so close to a sub 45 so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery all right outside good springs cheated death well very good gg and the mojave Way thank you everyone for coming thank you uh bya fox for your time and for teaching me that and for showing us your run absolutely uh does anybody have any questions about uh what we just did or uh just new vegas or fallout in general if so uh feel free to hit me up on discord uh just send me a message and i will be happy to debate with you because it's one of my favorite things to do <laughs> as, yeah. as i'm sure uh Ter terrario knows <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm sure you'll have more debates next thursday <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I, I love the little back and forth we have. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, and I'm clearly instigating it. Like, I, I'm not saying anything <laughs> bad, but I'm clearly instigating it because to say, oh, you're playing the best Fallout. Not you're playing, <laughs> oh, you're playing Fallout 3. You're playing the best Fallout. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he likes to do the same thing every time, like, Fallout Tactics comes up. <laughs> I think that not many people will consider that the best Fallout either. I, I just like when it takes like a like an hour and a half to do like a single mission, I just can't. Yeah, I, I, it's a long I, game. I'll be honest, I try beating it, and I like long games. God knows I play Bethesda games, so of course I do. But that's just too much. Yeah, it's very slow. I can speed run New Vegas twice in the time it takes to do a mission. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's even when I've like I'm trying to now speed through it rather than be like mega tactical and it still takes forever. Hey, thanks for stopping by, girl. Yeah, thank you, everyone. But yeah, uh, one thing I will say though, I like I'm always talking about how Fallout 3 uh, is the best one, but uh, this will be the final argument against New Vegas that I have. Uh, one of the other things that people like to mention is that, well, Fallout 3 doesn't let, like didn't initially let you do anything afterwards. I'm like, okay, that's true, but if the people that made 1-2 in New Vegas thought that that was such an issue, why didn't they let you keep playing Fallout New Vegas after you beat it? Yeah. Because they did a bunch of DLCs afterwards and there were updates for like a year. So like if, if they actually thought that that was something important to do, then they would have put it in. And Fallout 3 did with an expansion. Yeah, that's just the bias towards Bethesda because obviously people had played Morrowind and Oblivion and all their other games. And they were expecting right. that. But for the Fallout universe, what they did was not completely in tune with Fallout 1 and 2. You know, they had the exact same thing. Well, actually in Fallout 2, right. I think you could continue in Fallout 2. But in Fallout 1 anyway, it's the end of the game. So... I'll be I'll be honest, I think the biggest thing that hurt Bethesda more than anything else as far as like Fallout and the DLCs that they had um was the Shivering Isles. Because that was such an amazing expansion on Oblivion yeah. that everything that they did afterwards was compared to it. Mm -hmm. And that's if you only had the opening to the Shivering Isles, that would be such a hard thing to argue against. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, I hope everybody had a good time. Yep. <laughs> and Underhill says, run it again. <laughs> Maybe another time, Underhill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank All you. Right, I'll be, Thanks for your welcome. time. I'll be, I'll be signing off. And uh, if you guys aren't yet subscribed to Jeweler, uh, do so. He does some amazing retrospectives. Thank you. Uh, is there anywhere that they can find you, actually? Do you just uh, stream on Twitch or anything like that? Um, I don't. Uh, the rare times whenever I do anything, I do it uh, in my Discord. Like, usually, whenever I do it, I will uh, do, like, either, like, a birthday stream or, like, a celebration stream. I might do, like, 
uh, Grand Theft Auto Five with like a randomizer, and then people can uh, like mess with me that way. Mm -hmm. Just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically causes like chaos effects. Yeah, and, like, those are always fun. Meteors raining down. But uh, if anybody has any interest in something like that, uh, just let me know on Discord, and I could invite you to mine. Cool. Like I, it's pretty inactive besides those events, though. Fair enough. All right. Thank you. All right. See you later. All right. See you.